lot of people and media outlets have been asking me for my response to what has just happened. So I just wrote a, a, a small statement, which I'd like to read to you. When I first heard of the Mano Manian Sundar Naj University's decision to remove my book, Walking with the Comrades, from its curriculum, following threats and pressure from the ABVP, Oddly enough, I was more happy than sad because I had no idea that it was in the curriculum in the first place. I'm glad it has been taught for several years, and I'm not in the least bit shocked or surprised that it has been removed from the syllabus now. It was my duty as a writer to write it, but it's not my duty as a writer to fight for its place on a university curriculum. That is for others to do or not do. Either way, it has been widely read, and as we know, bans and purges do not prevent writers from being read. This narrow, shallow, insecure attitude towards literature displayed by our current regime is not just detrimental to its critics, it's detrimental to millions of its own supporters. It will limit and stunt our collective intellectual capacity as a society and as a country that is striving for a place of respect and dignity in the world. Dear friends and viewers, Today we shall discuss on the book written by a famous writer Arundhati Roy, Walking with the Comrades, withdrawn from its postgraduate English syllabus of Manonmaniyam Sundaranar University. Based on the objections raised by the Agila Bharatiya Vidyat Parishit ABVP. It is shocking to learn that the Vice Chancellor of the Manonmaniyam Sundaranar University has decided to withdraw the book written by Arundhati Rai and in its place replaced certain S.S. Brahm, naturalist M. Krishnan's My Native Land on Nature, that is, the author is drawn from Trinalvi. Our point is this, some years past, the casteist and religious fanatic groups had organized protest against Perumal Murugan's one-part woman novel in Tirichangodu town and compelled Perumal Murugan to withdraw certain portions of the novel by force. And the author Perumal Murugan in his Facebook in July 2015 had said that I quote, Arthur Paramal Murugan had died, he is no god, so he is not going to resurrect himself, nor does he believe in reincarnation. From now on, Paramal Murugan is, will survive merely as a teacher, as has been. Please leave him alone. Thanks to everyone. This was the very statement issued by the famous author and professor Permal Murugan. The Tamil Nadu Progressive Writers and Artist Association had come to the rescue of the author Permal Murugan and has supported widely and had approached the Honorable Court of Madras. The Madras High Court in its verdict in July 15 had clearly held that the choice is always with the author. The author and an artist like him cannot be under a constant apprehension that if he deviates from the off-traded path, he will face adverse consequences. Let the author be resurrected. Re to what he is at right. This is the very nice judgment in favor of Permal Murugan's one part women novel. Now, it is on Arundhati Roy's novel, Walking with the Comrades, withdrawn from the 
university curriculum and the same tamil nadu progressive writers and artists association had organized a seminar protesting against the move of the university by engaging with eminent personalities and parliamentarians arundhati roy the most powerful writers is known for her literary works throughout the world and our we finds on this matter speaks a lot about her courage and commitment to a principle or a cause we stand with arundhati roy and urge upon the manonmanyam sundaranar university not to succumb to the pressure of the abvp and desist from any such move thank you so much